Hi, it's Jared Rosen. I'm a DJ and photo booth operator based out of Washington, D.C. And congratulations on your purchase of the Max Design Curve DSLR. In this video, we're going to walk you through the setup and what you need to do to go from unboxing to taking photos at your event. When you order your Curve DSLR, you will have a choice of faceplate for whatever device you are going to use in your photo booth. I am currently set up for a Surface Pro 7. However, you can also select an iPad and your faceplate will be cut to match. When you receive your photo booth, there are a few components that are included. The first is your strobe for the flash. There's a power cord that is attached to that. You have a constant light at the top. The constant light will also include a power supply. In addition, there is a hex and wrench kit that is included that will allow you to adjust the tension of the front and back tilt. Your faceplate is attached to your photo booth when it ships. However, it is easier to remove the faceplate to install your device. To remove your faceplate, there are latches on the top left and right. Once you remove those latches, you can remove the faceplate to install your device. Once you remove your faceplate, I find it easier to place it on a table front side down. The faceplate is going to come with three screws. These screws are designed to keep your device, whether it be your Surface or your iPad in place. Now that all of our mounts are set in place, we're ready to install the Surface, or if you have an iPad, you'll be installing your iPad. First, you wanna lift all of the latches. When installing the Surface, I find it easier to have the power cord already plugged in. You just slide the Surface in place with the power cord and close the latches. Your power is in the top left, your USB inputs are on the bottom left, and your power is the bottom right. Now that our device is in the faceplate, we need to add the faceplate back to our photo booth. So what you'll do with the faceplate is you'll put your power cord inside, slide your faceplate in, and we will go back to our two latches at the top left and the top right to secure the faceplate in place. If you've already predetermined where you're going to place your wiring, I use Velcro and I'm placing my surface power supply right next to the surface in the back left. If you're building your curved DSLR for the first time, you may want to wait until the end before you determine where you're going to wrap all your wires. Once your surface is in place, I recommend starting from the top to bottom. You need to get a power supply for your constant light. And we're just going to run the power supply all the way down and uh, let it dangle. We are going to put our... Um, power hub over here, so I'm running this cord uh, down to the bottom right. Next, I want to install the camera. Please note that if you have a Canon with a longer lens, like the T6, T5, which is a very popular camera, you'll want to place it towards the back. In this build-out, I'm using an M50 MK2. The MK2 is a slightly smaller device. If you are using an M50, you'll need the M50 extension that you can buy from the website. And the M50 sits a little bit further up than the T6. Once your camera is installed, there are three wires that have to be connected. The first is connecting your M50 or whatever camera you're using to your Surface. I opt to plug my camera directly into my Surface. I will be using a USB hub for other peripherals. You'll also need to use what's called a dummy battery. 
you don't want to be swapping batteries in and out so you'll want to buy a connection that goes into the battery port that you can plug in the third wire you need to have a connection to your flash there's a hot shoe that goes on top of your camera and a sync cable that goes to the flash so again the USB connection to your computer the dummy battery as well as your uh, sync cable for your flash would all need to be installed with the camera the next install is the USB hub our recommendation is to get a hub that is powered to make sure it's going to drive all your peripherals you may have a printer you may plug your camera into it you may have two printers plugged into it sometimes we'll use a thumb drive if we're saving media to the thumb drive as a backup so again you want to have your uh, USB uh, extension hub to be powered I have this running into the USB-C of the surface so the surface USB-A is going to my camera and the surface USB-C is going to my USB hub now that we have connected all of our wiring we need to power it up I prefer the single cable method I have a five foot cable that is connected to a power hub that has six plugs which is everything I need for everything in the surface plus the printer so all I need to do to power the DSLR is drop my wire down and everything is a single plug with the curved DSLR you could actually operate without a USB hub you could use one of the ports on your surface for your camera the other port on your surface for your printer and then you would utilize a Bluetooth keyboard if you wanted to use that personally I prefer the USB keyboard and also having extra ports to uh, charge my keyboard or uh, putting in a thumb drive so I do have the USB hub again for those of you that wanted to operate without the USB hub you could go a camera into one USB port and your printer to the next USB port I have now added my keyboard USB port to the USB hub and I have my keyboard this model also comes in a Bluetooth so if you prefer Bluetooth over the USB you can do that as well um, there's also a power cable for the uh, keyboard that I actually like to plug in to my surface where there's a USB out so you could plug it in there you could also plug it into your USB hub or you could have USB on your power outlet again anything to draw power for the keyboard one of the last steps in building out your curved DSLR for the one plug method I've now plugged in an IEC cable for my printer and a USB cable for my printer along with the power cord for the curved DSLR I'm just going to run it down the center column the power cord to the bottom and the printer will go to the printer shelf this example is how you wire your curve DSLR for use at your first event as you start to decide where items are going to go the length of the cables you may want to get zip ties and utilize this space to zip down some wires you maybe have some area up here where you could put one of the power ports this is where you can get extremely creative to have as much space inside the curved DSLR as possible now that we've set up our curved DSLR it's time to run our three cables for the printer I've got the power and the USB cable which we will run through and I'm using the uh, uh, DMP 620 uh, which is a slim printer it's the smallest printer I've used in the DMP lineup next take your power cable send it through to the bottom run your extension cable from the wall into the bottom of your curved DSLR and you are all set and ready to go for your event 